With the Six Nations a hair's breadth away, it's time for the yearly tradition of discussing Wales, sorry, Italy's place in the Six Nations, and why we do and don't need promotion relegation. With Italy having constantly underperformed over the last few seasons, getting their first win since 2015 in the last game of last year's tournament in Cardiff, the conversation has come up about whether they deserve to be in the Six Nations at all, with some suggesting they should be kicked out and going back to the Five Nations. This is not an option, mainly because Italy are shareholders so they would require them to vote themselves out of the tournament, but also the bye week. In the Five Nations there was always one team not playing each week. This not only makes it less interesting, on the weekend your team isn't playing, but it can actually advantage and disadvantage teams. Having the bye week in the middle of the tournament is a massive advantage over teams that have it on the last or first day. This is also one of my main problems with a Seven Nations and just adding Georgia. So let's talk about promotion relegation. For me, this is the only option. I'm not even going to talk about an eight team tournament with two groups and a final at the end. F that. For me, promotion relegation would be the only suitable change to the championship if one is needed at all. So why should we consider promotion relegation? Well the main reason would be meritocracy. Georgia is probably worse than Italy, but last year they beat two Six Nation teams where Italy and Wales both only beat one. In fact, Georgia would have ended on 8 points in last season's Six Nations, meaning they would have finished 5th, maybe. Wales would have got a bonus point in that game so they both would have been on 8 points. But this is why ProRail works. We aren't trying to decide whether Georgia is better than Italy or Wales. We can actually find out if the winner of the Rugby Europe Championship got a playoff with the bottom place team in the Six Nations, then you couldn't really argue that they deserve to be there or not. We would definitively know. It also adds a goal for smaller nations. Georgia are currently at the top of tier 2 in Europe, so what reason do they have to invest in the sport anymore? If the Six Nations doesn't open up for them, they could easily stagnate and potentially end up going backwards. It could also give other countries a reason to invest. Germany is the fourth largest economy in the world, bigger than any in the Six Nations, and it's right on the championship's doorstep. If their rugby team had a chance to play at the top level earning the millions unions get from the Six Nations, they may be able to find investment and start building to compete at the top level in a country that loves its sport. You could call them a sleeping giant if you will, and we all know how well that's going for the other one. But anyway, that's pure speculation teetering on the point of fantasy. But what are the problems with this? Well we mentioned one earlier. The Six Nations teams would have to vote for this, and who would vote to be relegated? But this did happen quite recently in Scottish football. In the 2014-15 season, the Scottish League 2 added a relegation playoff with Highland and Lowland League for the first time in the league's history. So it's not entirely out of the question that teams would do this. However, the quality of football and revenues between the leagues are not very different. The only way the Six Nations teams would vote for this would be having some kind of parachute payment scheme that would minimise the revenue losses from the Six Nations sides. And even then, that wouldn't guarantee the massive percentage of revenue that unions get from ticket sales. In 2018-19, Wales earned nearly 44% of all income from matchday revenue, which would most likely not stay the same if they ever got relegated. However, this system could also help Rugby Europe Championship teams. If they got promoted, they would have, say, five years of extra revenue, be able to invest into the game, even if they got relegated again. Does the Six Nations even need this? Well, no, it doesn't. Scotland vs England in 2022 had a peak viewership in the UK of 18.7 million people, 100,000 higher than the year previous. Can you say if, God forbid, Scotland got relegated, 8.7 million people in the UK would tune in to watch England vs Georgia? I doubt it. With the viewership appearing to be growing, is there any reason for an overhaul from the Six Nations viewpoint? And the answer is still no. The Six Nations has nothing to gain by adding Pro Rel. The extra excitement from a relegation battle on Super Saturday might add some viewership, but how many people who cared about that wouldn't already be watching. If anything, it has more to lose by losing massive fixtures like the Calcutta Cup and Le Crunch. The only reason why the Six Nations would change its format is to make money, and I don't think ProRail would do that. If this is the future for the Six Nations, I don't see it happening for years in this historic tournament, of which you can find out more about by watching this video right here about the entire history of the Six Nations Championship. Thanks for watching.